Rolling. We're gonna put the, put the rack in right now. Um, my fairy godfather showed up, and he's gonna help me put the put the rack in the front. Give me a hand, whatever I need. Um, we found some more 16-inch wheels this morning, or 17-inch wheels this morning. Uh, we're finding them out of a CDR Honda, and that's what we did. We we went looking for them. We found two more. We want to thank Pearls for helping us out. They did a, you know, thank you very much. We need one more, and then we can put all the tires on that Jolene has, the 17 inch. But right now, we're just going to jack it up. And what I'm doing is I'm jacking it up on the front cross member. We're going to put the jack stands underneath each wheel to support it. And then we're going to go underneath the car. We're going to lay the rack up against the back of the front cross member and then we're going to take and make brackets to hold it to the front cross member and we're going to see where the steering shaft comes out so we can poke a hole through the, through the firewall and connect it and see how it's going to work. Um, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the hood off so we can see what's going on. Uh, it's, it's always good to see what you're doing and that's what we're going to do. So. Bear with us, we're just going to slide this up, or jack it up, and uh, get the jacks underneath of it, make it safe, and then we'll put the rack and pinion on, and poke a steering column down through. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. The Jaguar engine is, I think, mean, 600 pounds, Doug? I think that's what... 600 pounds, I think, and I'm not sure if that's going to come down or stay up or what that's going to do. Oh, it's going to stay up for a while. All right. Very just going good. slow because the engine is just setting in there. Uh, the transmission is just setting across on a piece of square tubing. It does not matter at this present moment because I just want to get it mocked up. It does not have to be finished. When the body comes off, that's when I can really finish everything and do a real good job. But if I get taking the body off and on and off and on and off and on and off and on, that takes time. And I'm not interested in wasting my time that way. Um, so this is what we're doing. Think we should go higher, Doug? I need another four inches. Another four inches, Doug says. Everything seems to be going good. We haven't got no clunks or bangs or crashes yet. And everything you do on something like this, when, when everything is not secure, it's best to be safe as possible. If we can get underneath there. Am I going to get that high enough for you to get them underneath there? I don't know if I am or not, am I? Me neither. We might have to get the other one. That's good. That, that looks good. Just out of the way. Slowly. You know how that goes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like I said in the video, Doug, I dropped it. You may as well. <laughs> right? Just see what happens here. It's going up. Everything going good? Yeah. You're on. Beautiful. You want to leave that as a car? No, I'm going underneath there. I'm hoping that's safety. Yeah, I'm yeah. hoping. If you want to come, Jolene, you want to take a look for a second. This, this is the cross member I made in the front. That's at least 3 16 uh, angle iron on each side. I will close that in. We'll brace it a couple more times. We'll close that in. And that is the bottom cross member for the car. Um, right now, what I want to do is... This is, the this is the front side of the cross member. This is the back side of the cross member. Right now we have 
The tie rod ends will go to the front. They're not gonna be that way. The spindles have been put on backwards. We're gonna change when we put the new spindles on. Uh, this arm is gonna be on the back side. So we do not see anything out front like this. So what is gonna happen? Doug passed it into me already. Look at that, would you? Now, so you can see, maybe you want to go on the up, maybe up by the, up by the top, by the engine, you can see. So what's going to happen is I can see right now, um, if you want to, yeah, go on the other, are you going to see it, baby? Uh, I think so. If you go on the other side, you can see, probably see it a little bit better. What happens is that steering is going to try to be right there somewhere. Because this is where I'm going to have to hook on with my steering column. My steering column is going to come half down, come down here and hook onto it with the joint. So as I'm down here taking a look, I see that both of the tie rod ends will be reach when we put ball joints on them. Now I'm just going to center this rack and pinion up and hook it to this front. Ooh, 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 ooh. What was that? That was the car. It just sit down on it, didn't go nowhere. It didn't go nowhere. It's all good still, ain't it? Oh yeah, she's all good. Yep. So this is gonna have to mount on the front here and turn up like that. So as I look at this, the brackets that this is gonna bolt to, so what I have to do is, I have to make two, Brackets that fit this, or two clips, like I don't know what you call it, what you call them? Mm -hmm. Clip saddles. Yeah. Saddles, whatever. We're going to make two saddles that fit that. And then I'm going to weld a piece of metal on the front of this cross member to bring it down so I can put these on and drill it to it. So I'm going to make two of these saddles here first. And what I did is I put a piece of exhaust pipe up there to try to get that bend. And we only need two saddles, so I'm going to use more metal than we need to make them. Uh, mean by this saddle. I'm going to put this. Hmm. this. I'm going to go along there like, like so. Maybe back on the frame. Back so that's going to go on here like this. Like that. Beautiful. And then we'll bend them together closer. This off because I know I need it. Shorter, and make it fit better. That's all. Take a marker. Set it down the floor because I know it's going to fall anyways. Didn't want to hit that, but it is. Here you go, Doug. Setting that in there like that. I'm going to. Cut that off there, cut that off there. What I'm doing is I'm just leaving it a little bit long. You can see the face of it right here. This will be the face. Just stick it in and on there, make it a little bit long. I still have to make this down here fit a little bit better. I'm gonna bead it around that, bring it in a little further. And then we'll cut it off the real length and we'll weld a tab that comes up. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut that off. Glasses. Second stands out of that. I see that. More safety. It would have been 
nice to have the saddles that are off that, but I'm thinking that the saddles went on the car that come off of to put on the other rack. That's what I'm thinking, probably. Uh -huh. I would think, or that's generally what happens. Get that on there like I am. trying to do is get that to go around there a little better as I cut that off it just makes it harder then that's all if you know what I'm saying I'm gonna bend it this way thing to do is bend a piece of metal like that and try to get it in shape in the back side. And if this is not good enough, what we'll do is we'll buy the brackets that fits it. <laughs> you know, if, it, if it's not good enough. We want it to fit as good as possible. We've got a dog in the house, and that stuff is not good for a dog. No, not good for a dog. Just trying to make this round, that's all I'm trying to do right at the present moment, just trying to make this round. And it's a hard thing to do with... If something moving, it's a hard thing to do. Size. And 
it was like yesterday when I was just trying to get this round. That's all. That's all I'm trying to do. What's that? I got a two, two inch piece of exhaust pipe and haven't got it. I was thinking that too, but haven't got that either, Doug. Oh. Getting bad. I'm going to put this on here to clamp it. Yeah? I'm going to put the other end of the vice grip. Clamp it tight. Jesus. Alright, Doug, wind her tight. Open her up and wind her up for me. Just clamp it right here. Your vice grip to hold it tight here so it doesn't swing up. I don't want to vice it right together. Okay, Can we do I that? Understand, but you know, you want to ah. fasten that down first. Good thinking, Doug. I'm going to take that piece of advice. This other side tight over here, and I'm going to set it back out. More yet? Yeah, give her another squeeze. What the heck? That good. Yeah, good. Now we got nice and round there now because we got to clamp down. I took Doug's advice on that. I took Doug's advice on that. That's good and round now. Oh, huh? Watch your step there. This is going to go on here like this. It's going to go on here like this. Um, I need a tab. I'm going to mark that on there, on there, and try to get it even. We'll cut it off, and then I'll weld a tab that comes straight up. Mm -hmm. Put a bolt here, yeah. and a bolt there. Yeah. I'm cut that. Everything um, right there. So if I hold that in there nice and tight, I actually have a spot right here. It must have had a rubber at one time to hold yeah, that on there. And I have some rubber at home. Okay, well I'm just wondering if I should take a little grind of the metal, or just I could take a little spot of this, grind a little spot of it, and then wrap it around that and leave it, or just leave that and put it over top of it. What do you think? I'll just go like that. I'm gonna go cut that like that straight. Leave a little bit. And then I'm gonna well, if, you're, if you're down tomorrow, remind me. I, I, I have some uh, heavy rubber um, that would do that nicely. Put it behind it. You know, you get, you get it mm -hmm. come and go as well. So if I cut that off, and then weld an ear on it coming up, huh? we'll see what happens. Right behind you, sweetheart. Yeah, it's, it's more or less when it's 
and we'll, we'll know that when we put the bracket on. When we put the bracket on for this to fit, if we have to lean the bracket like that, we will. That's in, but it wants to come up with this better angle. angle. So if we put that on there like so, um, just because this says it's going straight doesn't mean it should be going straight. You know what I mean? Like, as I got that going like that, it's probably angled more like that. And we can do that with this bracket, with this, with how we bolt it on. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, you got a, 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 a pretty heavy angle. Angle, yeah. Right. And that's one thing that we'll do. We'll make sure that the knuckle's got to... That's what I want to do. I want to get that sorted up in there so I can put the steering column down through to this and see what the knuckle's going to look like. At the Yee Yankee Workshop. How fast can you build a bracket? That's where I'm at, Doug. How fast can you build a bracket? Looks like crooked as hens. Crooked as. Crooked as all the doors, ain't it? Watch your eyes, everybody. I'd rather take the plasma cutter out right, and cut the holes of that it's just so much easier than me fighting with a drill bit. I have that wound up and bound up and made myself ugly a couple times before I got a hole through it. <laughs> I know I would. I know I would. Turn the air on. possible because of the time it takes to load it and put it on the computer. Um, we don't want to be... one. We're going to make another one. I'm going to get smart this time. Now I'm going to vice grip the top like Doug said didn't have it around.
up there like like Doug said. Makes a better plan. Good idea, Doug. Good idea. That one worked out way better. I just bend it now without, you know what I mean? I was trying to bend it before. I was getting up the right shape. You know why I'm good at making patterns, Doug? Because all I used to do was copy in school. Yeah. I'm good at copy. <laughs> Two of them. And all the stuff that I'm making can be perfected at the end, like when we start tearing it apart and that sort of stuff. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. I'm gonna straighten that one out. That's not straight, but we'll put this one on first. your eyeballs so hard. I don't want to hit you with anything you don't want to be hit with if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I don't want to blind you. Grip it, cut my end off so that one's the same as that one, and we'll cut a couple holes in it. Two holes in it. We'll make 
maker a two holer. Two holer. Got big holes for movement. <laughs> for movement. Right. So right now we're putting on the steering, motors, transmission, brakes, all that stuff is kind of mocked up. It's not finished, but it's mocked up so we know where it's going. So if we take anything off the car, we know exactly where it goes. There's no guessing. There's no guessing. And I like to guess. Believe me. Okay. It's not that hot. One more one there. Well, that one will take a glove to put on. And then we're going, hopefully. There. So now we've got two brackets. And we still got room for rubber. So we got two brackets. There she goes. Here he is, just like that, like so. And now I need to weld a piece of tab of metal on that front cross member so that I can bolt that too at the top and bottom. And if these are not, like if these do not suit me, these tabs, which they should, they look fine. They're gonna need some rubber wrapped around them, make them tight. But if, yeah, I'll just wrap some rubber around them, make them tight and make a bracket. So I got this bracket, I got this piece right here. I may as well, what I'm gonna have to, I can't just weld a piece of metal down straight and hold it. There would be no strength. So when I weld a piece of metal down straight, I'm gonna to have to gusset it off the front. I'm gonna take the one either and hold it right now. And then you guys can take a look and tell me what it looks like. It's nice to have a set of eyes on top. Doug can see which angle that little steering arm is looking like. Some back here. So, what I'm saying, what I think I need, is a bracket that welds right on top of the, see that light blue, Doug? Yeah, uh, tilt it a little towards me. Up? No, down. Even a little more if, if you can. Yeah, something like that is, is reasonably straight if you can. If hmm. You can, huh. can I get up in there any further? Huh. Just, I want to get up in there just a little bit further, you know what I mean? I can. Hmm. Yeah. It's if I take and slice that frame on either side just a little bit. I can get them brackets up in there, makes my rack and pinion go up a little higher. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. You're gonna run that straight down through? Yeah. I got a piece of exhaust pipe cut. You want a piece of exhaust pipe? No, no, it's good. Okay, so if I'm going to put this up in there, where does it fit? Like, uh, can it, yeah, can right, underneath this, the, right underneath the. No, on top. On top. That, 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 that. that angle's fine. You happy there? Yeah, that angle's fine. Once you get a knuckle on there, that angle's beautiful. Okay. What I'm going to do is, um, I have. What I have is, because I've got the cross, cross that going across, I can't get these, these two brackets do not fit inside the chassis. That, you know what I mean? The chassis, that, I got a half inch, a little half inch there on that lip that sticks out on the chassis, yeah. and a half inch on this side. Yeah. If I just cut it a little bit, then I can slide this up inside the chassis closer, which don't hang it down. If I, right now, if I'm hanging it underneath the front end, this whole thing is hanging down from that cross member. It doesn't look good. If you know what I'm trying to say, I'm going to take a die grinder and cut up that chassis on that side and this side. 
Let's see if I can get that up in there. And I might even tack the rack right there, then I know where the brackets are. subject. See what's going on here? This is my cross member. When I put this piece, when I put the, the rack up in there, when I put the rack up in there, my brackets would not fit up inside the chassis. So now what I've done is I took a little slit out of that and my chassis slides up in there. So that slides up in there and this slides up in here. Look at that now, would you? That gives me a better Better, better spot, does it not? All right, try to get this thing flopped down. Huh. Maybe that doesn't work for me. What am I hitting? Hold on, uh, just kind of catching up on everything. And... There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. That steer, you want to bring that steering arm down through, Doug, and tell me what you, what it looks like. If it's, if I have to turn it. Uh, that's pretty good there, eh? Or, no, no. I gotta see. Do we want to go behind, below the, uh, the power steering power brake. Is that where you want to come over? Uh, below, yeah, exactly. Almost right below that power steering pump in that fire too, where you know it comes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. There you are. Um, baby, or Don, are you able to pass me that welder? Yep. I'm going to tack that there because I can. And I'm going to because it looks right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I need to use the towel. Just turn her on. I'll give her a tacky poo poo. Ah, blind myself. Kind of, yeah, I'm kind of jammed up here a little bit. There we go. And then we'll get her. That one's back. That one ain't going nowhere. Now. As I, I'm going to let off this thing. I can get it here. Yeah. Okay. What I've done is I put the bracket in there, tacked it at the top, tacked it on the top. What I have to do is build a bracket that comes off here and, and bolt it on the top. When the Steering rack is in place. Well, they're not hitting it. I never pushed on anything to hit anything hard enough. But it is 
So you can see how the rack is hanging down just a little on this side. That's just from the... This piece here is not going to be here. It's going to be on the other side. This is my rod that's going to hook to it. It's nice and straight going across, as you can tell. It's not up or down. How's that look up? Like a Beautiful. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, you can come here, baby, if you want to take a look on this side, see how it comes down here. You can picture that and see it. And I'll just point, point it out. There's where we want to connect to, right there. What I have to do is, is I have to weld a tab on the top of this so I can bolt that. And then I have to weld a tab on the bottom so I can bolt that right on and secure it. I'm going to cut a hole in the firewall. I'm going to run that exhaust pipe through and I'll show you how to do that. What the hay, it's there. And everything like this that I'm doing, when the body comes off, that's the time to perfect it. And you can really see it. sitting here I'm just going to shove that up inside there so I know sort of where the hole's going through Did you get the marker one? I got a marker right here I'm gonna mark it that seem possible does it Doug or down too far I'm going to cut a hole, and I'm going to jam it through there, I guess. Bring the plasma cutter over. Shove this through because it's a should have left it all one piece of exhaust pipe. The only reason I want to do that is for the end. As you can see, I'm right up here on this. I'm going for you. Well, that's there's they get locked there. I'll come here in a second. Yeah, it's cool. And then that'll go through to there. And, you can, and then a knuckle down there. So you can picture it. So that's your steering column. A little crooked going on there, like Doug. What's going on? I want you to hold the outside at the front where you think it should go, and then I'll, I'll take the inside. I'm gonna take this piece here first, though. Where does it look like it's going best? Uh, like that good. Well, that's not going to do it in here. No. What if I let me let let me play with it? What if I say it's going to go right? What if I say it's going to go right there? Is that terrible? Uh, you gotta like that. So what has to happen is that the, what I got the circle there has to come up some. Uh, this piece. You don't like it like that, eh? What's that? You don't like it like that. Actually, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. That'll work. Well, right, that's fine here. Okay. And that works like that. Can we hold it inside and get that? We're, we're good, I think. We're good. Yeah, that will work. Um, yeah. 
This is what I really want to do, I guess. Oh, you got that, dear? I want to take this for a second. What's going to happen is we're going to have a 40-inch uh, steering column. Uh, it's going to come back. in this steering column. It's not going to run right down there and have one joint. There's going to be two. It's going to be the steering column, a joint, then a double D shaft that goes down to there. So all I'm going to do is just put this on to hold the steering column. bigger but why am I having such a time pulling that through the hole? Okay. I'm saying that your steering column is going to be about there somewhere. I'm going to put the wheel on that just to check the giggles. And giggles. So I'm saying your wheel is going to be here. Like this is your wheel. It's not fit on there yet. Somewhere like that. Take this little rod, Doug, and see if we got another. If we got an angle that will fit to that steering column. So if I pull that back just a little bit further, say if I pull that back that far. Are you able to get an angle down on that? There's going to be, you're going to have two, I suppose I can leave that go for. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a little quick. Uh, uh, the, 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 my, the bottom end should be raised, but just a, a, a smidgen. Okay, well, what we're, we're, gonna have have a, we're going to have a U joint at that end. Yeah. I'll get this one here. And I don't know how far your your U joint protrudes. Oh, we're good. Are we're we? good. Okay. That double D shaft um, is only about this big around. Okay. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna have a a, a joint at that end. Yep. And a joint at that end. Yep. yep. Beautiful. I think um, we have the steering figured out. But there's a lot more work to do, obviously, to make it work. But that's where the steering column is going to come out. Steering column is going to come out there. Rack and pinion is going to be down there. And I think how you can see, if you want to come on the other side, maybe I'm going to show where I'm going to put the bracket bolted on. You can see where. I'm going to have to have a bracket. I'm going to have to make a bracket. We'll have a square, square piece of bracket right there to bolt that too on that side. And I'm going to have to bolt, make a bracket on this side to bolt that one too. And then we'll make a bolt one on the bottom for that to bolt too. So it cannot go anywhere. Yeah, just don't pinch those lines. Yeah, they're pretty hard. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I don't want to ruin the lines. Yeah, leave yourself room to open. Oh, yeah, 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 where the fuck's my thing? I looked at that, Doug. I think they're already... Oh, they're on the backs on the bottom side on this side, so they're nice and out of the way. Um, I'm under here just taking a look right now. I'll be fine. I just broke that off. I got that wall so chintzy that it broke it off. Come on. I'll have the hole welded up before I get it back on. 
All right, so that's where I'm saying it's gonna go. And now all I have to do is make brackets to hold it there. And that shouldn't be a problem. So I really feel like um, before I start making all this, I could just leave it like this and make it when the body's off and do a real good job on the brackets. You know what I mean? Be a nicer than being upside down. Yeah, so that's the rack. That's where the rack goes on the front. It's not gonna hang down too low. I don't think we'll cut these ears off maybe a little bit. And, and maybe bolt it up the other way maybe. And we can take this ear off. Instead of having to come down, I can have it come out and bolt up. Or just round the, round the corners. Round the corner? Yeah. yeah, it's not hanging down too low. And don't forget you got a transmission cord hanging down there somewhere too. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. In fact, those tabs may work for that. They may. But that's basically where the front rack and pinion is. We spent some of the morning getting wheels. We put steering on it. There you go. That's basically the steering. I just have to make something hold it there. We've got the bracket so it holds it there. And that's basically it. Steering wheel, steering column. Doug's fabulous wheel. I mean, Jolene's fabulous wheel. And that's about how far it's gonna come out of it that far. And this, yeah. Cool. So that's what I've done, or that's what has been done to put the rack and pinion in. It's not finished, but it does not have to be as long as we know it works and it fits. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You happy with that, Joni? Mm-hmm. We got the rack on. Um, right now, I'm just gonna mess around and see what I can do with it to make it sit there better. And basically that's it. We're gonna make a couple brackets so that rack and pinion goes on. Um, we got a, we got some uh, new spindles, rotors, and calipers. We're gonna put on there, and then we'll put it on the back side so it steers right. Uh, that part there was put on that way so I could steer it and push it outdoors. Uh, the motor looks good. It's in the center. The brakes look good. The hood fits. The steering's gonna fit. The rack's gonna stick fit. It's a good day. All right, everybody. Nothing more I'm gonna show you today. Other than nothing. You need to say that? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. Put the vice grips in the middle of that and hold it so when you bang it, it bends around. But that's, what, that's what happened, that's what worked, and that's what we did. 17-inch uh, wheels are going good. We've got to get the tires put on there. Other than that, we need a steering column. We will buy a Speedway. And we'll just buy the, the, the cheapest one you can get, the stainless steel one. We don't need blinkers and all that stuff on it. Um, yeah. Happy as kind. Also, on the steering, we use the little round uh, three, one and three quarter inch ball, uh, swivel ball. We'll put it in the firewall so that looks really nice on the firewall when that comes down through. And then the steering column can swivel in that and hold it nice. And then we'll use another one on the dash. So we'll have a... Uh, aluminum ball here with a swivel on on the on the firewall and then we'll also have a, a aluminum ball swivel on the dash so we'll have two points where the steering column is going through we'll have a, a double D joint uh, three-quarter inch double D joint going down from this end of the steering column down to the uh, rack and then at the rack we'll have a double D uh, joint with a uh, I don't know how many spline that is but we'll get something to fit that spline and then we'll we'll be off to the races she'll be able to steer the car and that's basically how simple it is I guess um, we got some uh, yeah a little more figure to do but other than that going straight forward have a good one